Angular Films of Class 10. Uh, today we are going to do the chapter The Passing Video of Abu by Nantara Saigal. Uh, it is uh, Nantara Saigal is a well known uh, writer and she is uh, one of the first female writers in English. Uh, it is from this memoir, uh, Prison and the Chocolate Cake, that this uh, chapter has been taken. And uh, here uh, in this chapter, she not only uh, tells us uh, about uh, her personal loss uh, uh, due to Gandhi's death, but uh, she also gives us a vivid description of how the entire nation reacted to the sudden uh, loss of power. Now, Bob, as we uh, know, Gandhi is also known as the father of the nation, a family called Bab, because he was a father figure for the entire nation, as he had roused the patriotic feeling in the Indians, and uh, he was instrumental in uh, bringing about the independence of now let us read Unit 1. I was having tea at home on the evening of 30th January 1948, that is after independence, you can understand that, when I was called to Birla House by an urgent telephone. Gandhiji had been shot on his way to a prayer meeting. I was now with shock as I got into the car. So all of a sudden, Nantara Saibu, who uh, was a very young, she received a phone call. It was said that um, Gandhi uh, had been shot dead when he was going for his prayer meeting. Um, now, hearing this news, he, she just went to Birla House, but she says that uh, I was numb. Numb means when you, you don't have any sort of feel. So she was numb with shock. She didn't know how to react. At Birla House, Gandhiji's relatives and followers had gathered around his body. There was silence in the room as Gandhiji breathed his last. So the body was laid there and everybody was surrounded. His relatives and the followers of Gandhiji were standing there surrounding the body. Words of Babaji's death had spread through Delhi like a flame fanned by a wind. That is, when you fan a fire, what happens? Spreads rapidly, uh, or there is another expression is uh, news spread like wildfire. So the news of uh, Gandhi's death spread like wildfire. <clears throat> Sad men of groups and women had collected around Villa House. Out of every window, one could see a brown blur of faces. Blur means hazy. So when uh, the narrator around, she could see that. Uh, everybody had opened things. Everybody had opened their windows and trying to see what was happening. And when she looked around, she could see only you know brown means the complexion and blur. That is, it's a hazy uh, you know picture of the faces out of the windows. It did not make a sound. There was unnatural silence. It is as if uh, time stood still for those few minutes. So. People were so shocked, they couldn't uh, react in the beginning, they didn't know how to react in the beginning. People were too stunned to speak in the beginning. Nobody expected that such a thing would happen. So since such a thing happened, that's why, you know, uh, they just, uh, you know, stop. Uh, they just couldn't speak for some time. Later, they clamored wildly, shouting and crying. They jostled, they jostled these, pushing uh, one another, trying to force your way into them. Um, they jostled one another in a stamp. So, first they couldn't speak. You know, when they came back to San Francisco, you know, they just tried to you know, push each other to make their way uh, through, and there was almost a stamp. That is, you know, uh, Falling on each other um, and you know, uh, in a stamp, just happened.
Hospital in Istanbul. They chose to run another in Istanbul to break into the house. They can't, okay, they, because they wanted to see their leader for, uh, you know, have a last look at the leader. They can't deliver when it was announced that they would be allowed to see Khan for their freedom. So they uh, stopped when it was said that everybody will be given a chance to see their beloved leader. When one is faced with the shock, uh, with the shock of a loved one's death, one wimples. It is now they can start crying bitterly. What will become of me now that he has left me? Yes, uh, we can. Bapu was uh, like uh, he was called Bapu, not just like that. He, he had become a father figure for uh, every household family, and uh, with his death, everybody was like, "What will happen to us?" It, it was like uh, it was not just a uh, not death of a leader; it was like death of a beloved one in a family. Just as we cannot uh, you know, bear the um, pain of separation uh, due to death of uh, you know of our loved ones in our family, uh, it was the same reaction to hearing the news of Babu's death. This was surely the question uppermost in the mind of the mourning people. Mourning people who were sad. They looked like lost children. They look like lost children. Means uh, they do means they don't know what to do, how they should react in that way. It was a question in many of our hearts as we sat, still shocked and unbelieving. There is not only the question in the common man's heart that what will become of us, but we also uh, felt in the same way. We listened to the broadcast. The broadcast that is the news that was being uh, aired. On the radio, telling the people of India that their Bapu was gone. So, everywhere it was only one news that is the news of Bapu's death. So, we find that every uh, nobody had expected such a thing. Okay, it was, it came. As such an absolute shock, the people could not react in the beginning. Okay. Uh, there was an unnatural silence, but as soon as the realization came in them, they uh, wanted to see the leader for one last time. But when uh, they were said that okay, they can see him, uh, everybody would be given an opportunity to a chance to see the beloved leader, only that they stopped. So here it would be stopped today, we will do the uh, you know the other two units and the next ones. Thank you.